What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. It's uh, nine o'clock here. We're going. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video was you can only see half of Tate's face because he's looking down and he has a hat on. Stupid. I just wanna be happy. happy Today's video is a truth or drink. Um, I ask questions on my Snapchat. Ooh. I also asked them on my Instagram, but I can't check that because my phone's being occupied. Mm. So if there's any questions on there, I'm sorry, I can't answer them. Maybe a different video. I've got like 25 questions-ish, give or take, because some of them are repeating. So, yeah. What is your choice of drink? Let's have a beer. A beer? Great, now I have to deal with beer friends. Is it packed properly? Yeah, ice is gonna fall. Okay. And then my choice is. Okay. Mm. I'm going to be taking like not full shots because I don't want to. I'll be taking like half shots, maybe even quarter shots because I don't. It, uh, it's late. I don't want to get very drunk. I kind of want to go to bed after this. So I'm going to be taking shots of vodka and then. Following it up with an orange and mango drink. Why'd you already drink, you idiot? It's truth or drink. What are you hiding? I just had a sip. Oh my god. It's tradition when you open it, you have to. No. Oh, you already have beer breath. That's so gross. Why? I'm going to ask the questions and stuff like that, but we both have to answer them, so we both truth or drink. If someone offered you a million dollars to break up with your current partner, would you take it? No. Are you lying to me? Wouldn't you want to go and buy all your toys that you want? I'll just buy them anyway. Oh, okay. great. Um, no. The answer's no. For me too. A million dollars isn't that much. So you're saying if it was higher? <laughs> well, then, then I'd have to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Jesus. Can you put a price on me? I Stop it. I'm just used to. Mm hmm Can you put a price on me? No. Are you saying that truthfully, or because there's a camera there? Is that a question? No. Oh. It's a, I'm asking you from that question. No, you don't put a price on life. Because you said a million dollars isn't very much. Yeah, so can a, you put a price on me then? It was a joke. You don't put a price on human life. Have you ever practiced kissing in a mirror? No. I think I probably have. Gosh. When I was like 12. Yeah. Yeah. You have, haven't you? That's why you're so embarrassed right now. No. I don't believe you. Kissing a mirror? No, you're not kissing a mirror. You practice kissing in front of a mirror. So, you, are you touching the mirror? No. Oh. You're seeing what you would look like if you kissed someone. Oh, I would have just, like, done a kissy face in the mirror before. <laughs> done a kissy face? Or, like, in front of your phone or whatever. I like I when I'm sending have. you a photo or something, but like I've never, can't I've never actually this. like been in a mirror, like practicing making out with it or kissing it or anything no, like that. No, no, I haven't done that either. But I feel like, who says have you ever practiced kissing? Oh, well, no, I never know. practiced. Yeah, I've never practiced. Yeah, it's, I don't know. You might do like a kissy face when you're taking a photo or something like that. Yeah, that's not what it's asking. But not practicing, so no. I don't know. I, I, I can't think of a time, but I feel like that's definitely something I would have done when I was like a 12 year old. Just because I, that was around the time where I started wondering like, hmm, what would it be like to kiss a boy? So probably, but like, I, I don't know. Gross, that's what it would be like. What's one thing that you would change about your partner that you don't like? <laughs> All the nervous laughter. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The nervous laughter. That you don't like. I would just say I wish you didn't get angry or worry as much, like if I go out camping with my friends or something. What do you mean angry? I didn't get like angry. Like you'll get angry because... I did get worried. Or worried, or some, whatever. Sometimes you get angry, sometimes you get worried. If it, if I get it angry when you be. give me absolutely no details whatsoever. And I'm a very detail-oriented person, I need to know what's going on all the details because I'm 
a paranoid person, so if an emergency were to ever arise, I need to know what to tell the police. And when you don't give me details, it freaks me out, because I'm like, this time, the fact that you haven't given me details, this is the time, something's going to go wrong, police are going to come to me, and I'm going to be like, listen, I've got nothing for you, because my boyfriend didn't give me no details this time. He does every other time, but this time was the one time he didn't, and I've got nothing for you. That freaks me out. I need details. So I get angry when you don't give me details. So that's a little bit different. Okay. Alright, so I'm editing this right now and I feel the need to explain it a little bit because there's not very much context. But basically, I have really bad anxiety and I get super paranoid very easily. And whenever Tate is out, um, I always feel like he's unsafe. And I know a lot of the time that is my anxiety speaking. But from past experiences, there's been multiple times where, like, my intuition is right and something is wrong. And that freaks me out because whenever I think about it, it literally could be paranoia or my gut could be telling me something and I never know which one it is. So I get super duper paranoid when he's out thinking that something's gone wrong and that he's unsafe. And that's why I need all details so that if it is a serious situation and something does arise from it, I can give details to the police if something bad would ever go wrong so it's an anxiety that's what all of that's about um because yeah i get very panicked thinking that something's gonna go wrong but yeah anxiety isn't it fun okay well i've got mine <laughs> there's, there's nothing you would change i wish your memory was better yeah it's pretty shocking i agree though i wish mine was better too mm -hmm. What's your worst habit? Worst habit? Uh... Okay, well, while he's thinking, I've got mine. Mine is biting my nails and then biting the skin around my nails until they literally bleed and hurt. It's really annoying and I hate that I do it, but I can't stop myself from doing it. I also pick the skin on my lips and that hurts so much, but I, I just keep doing it. I, it's annoying, it's a habit, I can't stop it, and it's very frustrating because I do it because of anxiety. You'd probably say for me drinking. Probably. I don't uh, know if it's a habit. It's like once a week, I'll drink. I don't know if it's a habit. Maybe, it was definitely way worse. Maybe. You've gotten better, so I don't know if it's a habit anymore. Maybe. It was a habit, though. Um, comparing myself to others. Like, I'll just try learning like a new skill or whatever and I'll get frustrated when I'm not doing it as good as other people and whatnot even though yeah you know, I, I, I can compare myself to other people who might have been doing it for 10 years and I've just started and I'm like geez I suck and then I get demotivated and I should just go at my own pace but yeah. who is someone that you hate and why hate I don't even know Jake Paul just the first name that came to my head. Why? Um, I don't know. He just seems like a, not a great person. I don't. I probably don't even hate him. I don't even really know anything about him, other than. You just jumping some on of the, the bandwagon. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Um, Hating well, is bad. I know you could say. <laughs> no. Don't. That's. I was just kidding. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Um. Hate is a strong word, but based on all the events from my childhood and the fact that I can't see my little brother and sister anymore, I'm going to have to say that my ex stepmom is a person that I hate. Yeah. If you had to have your memory wiped of one of one immediate family member, which member would you choose and why? What does that even mean? So that you don't remember one of your family members? Like you Oh never... immediate. That's a bit harsh. Yeah, so like your brother. Or parent or something. Okay, well then this will be one where I finally drink because yeah. I don't have one. I'll probably drink. Well, that's not even a drink, that's just a I don't know. Yeah, but it's a, you're not answering the question. Okay. Guess we're gonna have to drink. Come on. My family should be proud. It means I love you all to a degree. Oh, I'm just gonna do half a shot. That's that's more than half a shot. Okay. 
God damn it, because this is the big shot glass too, so that's even more than more than half a shot. I'm gonna go with that. That's gonna make me sick just watching you do that. What? Oh, you're mixing it. No. Are you just chasing it? Mm-hmm. I hate shots. I'm gonna get lipstick all over these two things. It's making me cringe just thinking about it. Damn, girl. Nice. That's nasty. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't even twist the first two clicks, you just... No, you just push down it. No, you just twist. It what? takes too long when you twist. You yeah, but you're going to break the lid. It's not going to be able to close properly. I've never broken a lid. I've done that all my it's life. It's not going to be able to close properly and you'll spill it. You're a psychopath. I've done that all my life. Never had an issue. Spill it on what exactly? It's if you were to upright. tip it upside down. Yeah, tell me when I'm going to do that. You might accidentally bump it and then it'll spill. Yeah, not going to happen. So it's the one who's bumped stuff off your bedside table before. What? I think that was open a, I cups? I think it was a can or something. No, it was an open cup. Yeah. Boy. I can't believe that. Just shush. What is something illegal that you've done that, and do you regret it? What is something illegal that well, I've done? The obvious one would be smoking weed. Mm -hmm. Which I regret because I was really... I was pretty young and... Um, not fully developed and I think it kind of messed with my brain a little bit because I feel way stupider now than what I used to be. Yeah, you were really, really, really smart at school. And, and then now you started I'm doing that. No, but then you started doing that and you just... No motivation for school anymore, didn't give a shit about anything, never studied. And whereas that was like something you were known for, you were known for being smart. Because um, anyone that would talk about you would say like, oh, he's smart, he's hot, all that sort of stuff. Um, you can't say no because I'm the one who witnessed the conversations. But um, everyone talk about your dimples. And now I'm stupid. But um, yeah, you're not stupid, but yeah, definitely, you're not what you used to be. It definitely did mess with your brain. Why am I such a goody two shoes? You get out there and live a little. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I'm happy abiding by the law, thank you very much. Keeps me in good standing. Okay. Ooh, have fun. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> 15 this time, come on, that'll do. What? I was pretending to have it, but I... You would never. This is too darn heavy. I regret using vodka so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll make you vomit soon. Mm-mm. I don't vomit. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I screwed it on. Oh, good work. Oh, I really have had an answer doing it anymore. I'm losing currently. Mm-hmm. God damn it. <laughs> Who was your first kiss? You. Technically, you weren't mine, yeah. but I'm counting you as mine. I had a kiss in preschool, but I don't really count that because I was literally four. First memorable kiss. That one. You remember shit from preschool? Yeah. You remember stuff from preschool? Yeah. Mm. That's how I know that you weren't technically my first kiss, but I'm not counting that. as like, real kiss where you're like, this is what kissing is. This is what 
adults do sort of thing like knowing that it was a romantic thing instead of being like oh I've seen my mum and dad do this before I'm going to kiss this boy anyways you you were my first real kiss <coughs> have you ever cheated or helped someone cheat oh you're starting from the bottom mm -hmm. um like on a test or like it relationship doesn't, it doesn't say so you could say anything well I would have helped people cheat on tests before these times Bobby when did you do that? well it's not I don't know if it's like mm. well I'm going to be the answer that you're actually looking for when they ask this question they definitely weren't looking for school test <laughs> cheating um I've helped someone cheat, but to be fair, I didn't know, because I was the other girl, and I had no clue. Way before you. Calm down. Before you. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think. So I technically helped someone cheat, but I didn't know that I was helping. I thought I was the main girl, but I wasn't. I was just the other girl, and I was like, oh, okay. Didn't bother me that much to be honest. I just felt m way bad, way bad. I just felt really bad for like the actual main girl, and felt very awful. So I like, blocked him on everything and told her, and she didn't believe me. So that was great. But um, yeah, I don't really care because I wasn't very interested in him, anyways. But anyways, what's the biggest lie you've ever told? This is when I was telling you, I'm like, I'm gonna have to sit there and actually think because I don't know. Like, I don't just know the biggest lie I've ever told off my top of my head because I know I've lied about things before, especially to my parents. But I can't think of, like, the biggest lie I've ever told. I don't know either. This drink. Actually. <laughs> I'm just going to drink because that's too much effort to try and think about that. He never watches my video, so if he sees this, mum will. Mum already knows about it, so it doesn't matter. One day I was going to Kate's house. And my stepdad didn't know that me and Tate were a thing and me and my mum were keeping that from him because we knew that he literally would have gone ballistic because he's a very protective dad and like doesn't want his daughter being near a guy. He took a long time to warm up to Tate as well. So there was a reason we were keeping that from him. But yeah, there was a day where I was going to Tate's house. Mum knew, but dad did not. And dad was the one who dropped me off. So I had to lie about whose house I was going to and what I was doing and... It was very hard and awkward and difficult and I felt like the worst daughter in the, daughter in the world because he was being really nice about it. I'm like, Having, have fun at blah blah blah's house, like thinking it was one of my friends, but um, it wasn't and I felt so bad, but yeah, that's probably the biggest lie I've ever told was when I went to your house, but oh well. Crazy stuff. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done while drunk? Loads of stupid shit. Yeah, you've done a lot of bad stuff, whereas me... I wouldn't even know where to begin because half the drunk stuff I've done I wouldn't even remember. Yeah. He likes to vomit a lot. Um, just You really just talk about the most random stuff and just have this conversation and act like you know what you're talking about. And I feel like you probably do in your head. You probably do think you know what you're talking about. But he'll just talk out of his ass for a really long time and everyone around him will be like, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm hmm and we all know it's just like, Ted's yeah. just being an idiot. I'm the worst. But like, yeah. And then you always, like, exaggerate your abilities. So like, when we were at Terrigal one time, and you were like super duper drunk, you're like, I'm gonna do a flip off this wall, watch me. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you're drunk. I did. I know you did. But you definitely thought it was gonna go way smoother than it did. So. Well, it would have usually gone smoother. Yeah, well, you were drunk. That's what I'm saying. You exaggerate your abilities when you're drunk. Like, if you were sober doing that, whatever. Like, I'm sure you would have done fine. But the fact that you were drunk, it's like, you don't think about the fact, like, hey, alcohol is going to affect my abilities right now. It's probably not going to go the best. And it didn't go the best. You did it successfully, but you didn't land it properly and you fell back. But, like, that's okay. Okay? You still mm -hmm. flipped. I don't know. I've done heaps of stupid stuff. And yeah. I'm just a There's shitty too person. Many. Stop so. it. Wow, you have had too much to drink. He's getting depressed. Tight. 
I'm so sad. I'm so down on myself. I've had too much to drink. Editing this now, and I realized that I never answered that question, and I just go straight on to the next one. So let me just answer it real quick. If I can even think of anything, just give me a second to think. So this is not a very fun answer, but it's kind of hard to like think of like a specific thing. But like, I just make a complete ass of myself when I'm drunk. Sorry, there's a clip there. Um, so like, I know that's not very specific. The only like very specific thing I can think of is when I spilled a drink all over myself. That was embarrassing. Like, why did I do that? But um, yeah, I just I make an ass of myself when I'm drunk. So. Everything I do is pretty much embarrassing, but yeah, spilling that drink all over myself on my birthday was just fantastic. Favourite sibling? I don't... I actually don't know if it is this really. person anymore because I interact with Josh more than I interact with Jesse now. I've got five siblings. Two of them don't say anymore so I can't really say them. And then I've got Zach, Josh and Jesse. And... Any other time, like, just growing up in general, like, I would have always said Jesse. Like, I've always said Jesse just because he never really annoyed me. He didn't do anything to piss me off. He was just, oh, yeah, no, he probably still is. I would love to say Josh, but Josh still gives me a lot of attitude and really pisses me off sometimes just because he'll come in or I'll go to him and ask him a question and he's just got so much attitude to give and I'm like dude hold the fuck up stop being so rude so I'm probably gonna have to say Jesse still because he just doesn't give me attitude favorite sibling mm -hmm. do you have Jay and Christine on Snapchat no okay I was just wondering who would ask that not a clue Maybe Josh. I have him on Snapchat. Well, that would be awkward if he asked him. He's expecting himself. <laughs> I'll just have a drink because I've got two brothers and I don't know. We've always all been pretty easy going. Like I don't hang out with them all the time or anything, but we we very rarely fight or argue or anything like that, and we get along. Get me a Canado. That's not a Canado. No, it's not. <laughs> I'll have, I can have that if you can't be wrong. I hate how you open things with your teeth. Scotty. You're just gonna break your teeth. That stupid line is like apple yeah, cider. Just apple cider? There's no. Some must be apple cider. There's no alcohol in it? No, it's alcoholic apple cider. Mm. You know there's apple cider that's not alcoholic, right? No. Not in my books. I've never had it. Um, who are you most jealous of and why? Most jealous of? Like anyone? Mm hmm. I'm just gonna probably have to say Selena Gomez. Yeah. I don't know who I'm most jealous of. Yeah, the only people I can think would be like celebrities like PewDiePie or Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I'm probably just going to say. Selena Gomez just because I literally have idolised her since I can remember so probably just her there's obviously some things about her that I wouldn't envy or be jealous of like her kidney issues and stuff like that like because that would be extremely painful but like just overall I would say Selena Gomez just because she's fucking beautiful she's got amazing music she's successful the dating the Justin Bieber thing isn't really a big deal in my books, but like I reckon it'd still be pretty cool. The question's just someone who you're jealous of. And why? And why? Well, yours, if you chose Gordon Ramsay, it'd be because he's a good cook. I would probably just say PewDiePie, because he seems like a really cool guy. <laughs> he's got heaps of money. It just seems like he's got a great, a great mm -hmm. life. Why? I mean, obviously not everything's perfect, but... Yeah, like, like what I said. But, um, I don't know. I'd be jealous of him. If you had to choose between going naked or having your thoughts appear in thought bubbles above your head for everyone to read, which would you choose? Going naked? Like, what, like everywhere? Yeah, probably. Oh, God. That's the hard one. Mm -hmm. Would people be like, why is that guy naked? Or would probably. it just be like, a, it wouldn't oh, be the he's norm. naked? 
it wouldn't be the norm. That's why it, it's a tough decision. Otherwise, it would be obvious. But like, yeah, it obviously wouldn't be normal. God, that's hard. I'm probably just gonna have to go with the thought bubbles because I would just have to actively be like, think about this, think about that. Like, I would have to really conquer my thoughts when I'm out in public. But when I'm at home, it wouldn't matter. What? So you're out in, in out in public and you're having like some sus thought, and then you just be like apples. <laughs> and, you think of, and you just think about apples. I was more thinking like I would actively every single time I'm out in public, I would actively just try and get a song stuck in my head and just sing song lyrics over mm. and over and over again. That's probably the the thoughts one. I don't know. I was leaning towards a naked, but then again, the thoughts one you could actually probably like try and control. Control, and after a while, you probably could control it. Mhm. Mm so probably that one. I just realised I'm probably doing this face after every thing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> probably doing that after every question. Have you ever walked in on your parents doing it? Um, not well enough to, like, I'm 100% sure that's what they're doing. <laughs> what? But... This is news to me. Like, I haven't, like, walked in and been like, oh, that's what they're doing. But I've definitely walked in when I was younger and, like, sheets and stuff like oh, great. and they're like what what do you want like really like, like panicked type stuff like not seeing anything but just like quickly like throw the sheet out mm -hmm. so maybe i shouldn't say that because <laughs> how young <coughs> i don't know maybe like 12 or something so not even that young jesus christ oh probably when i was young as well well i have never as far as I know, walked in on anything, but I've definitely heard everything. So, Mum, when you're watching this, thanks. Really appreciate that. It's so frustrating. Keep it down. Um, have you ever tasted a booger? Fuck yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I feel like everyone has. I don't know a single kid that has not tasted a booger. Like, I all the time, every especially when they're bloody. Every single kid does that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have you ever peed in the pool? Oh. Yeah. Neck? Oh. Yes, absolutely. I when I was a kid. I despise people that pee in the pool. Yeah, I do now. But when I was a kid and I was having fun in the pool, I didn't want to get up to go to the bathroom. You're gross. I didn't want to get up to go to the bathroom. I, I wanted to keep playing in pools. Whereas <clears throat> you don't like pools. Because I, you. I used to do swimming. All the time. I used to swim. Four days a week in the morning for two hours mm -hmm. each time. Every week, like before school, for, I don't know, probably like since I was like little, all mm -hmm. the way up till I was like 13 or 14 when I quit. Mm -hmm. And so I was in the pool all the time. And the only time I can ever remember peeing, I wasn't in the pool. It was just before a swimming race. I don't remember if it was school or if it was just like some carnival. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was just before a race and I really had to pee up because you have to line up mm -hmm, for like mm -hmm. 30 minutes to go into Marshall mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I was holding it in because I couldn't go to the bathroom and I was on the blocks and I was like really struggling like to hold it in and the guy was like get on the blocks and take your marks blah 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 and then I started to pee a little bit because I just couldn't hold it in but then he said go and then I'm pretty sure I stopped because then like when you start you just like your mind just like goes blank and you just stop thinking about stuff and you just race like you just go as fast as you can and i'm pretty sure i didn't do it in the actual pool it was just before i dived in and it wasn't like a complete piss it was just yeah. like a leaking out a little bit i can definitely say that we have different opinions on pools so it's very different like you now despise pools like you don't enjoy going in the pool whereas for me going in a pool as a kid was a luxury like we never ever ever had like a pool to go in so if we ever went in a pool it was super exciting and fun and you never wanted to get out so whenever i, was I would go i hated it mm -hmm, exactly so whenever i went in a pool when i was younger it was exciting so if i never if, ugh, if i ever needed to pee i didn't want to get out i didn't want to leave because then the chances are if i got out of the pool that's when my parents or whoever i was with would be like okay we're getting out now let's go no so i peed in the pool but i obviously don't do that now but as a kid there was no way i was getting out to go pee disgusting yep what is your most embarrassing moment in public? I can say mine. The one I was saying in the car. That was in public. And that literally makes me want to die every single time I think about it. 
Oh, uh, yeah. What's yours? Are you gonna say? Oh. But what's yours? I don't know. Do you not have one? I would have to have one, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, at least now I'm certain that he'll never watch this video. But for whatever reason, if someone tells him to, if someone knows him that watches this video and tells him to watch this part, at least now he'll know what happened for real. So, okay. I'm gonna name call right now. Archer Smith. There's not many archers. But why does it matter? Because if anyone were to search up Archer in my following list on um, Instagram, he's the only person that's gonna pop up. Yeah, so... I... We were going... What, what is that called? Like, sand boarding? We were going sand boarding. What is it? I don't know. I was we driving getting, my car on the beach. Drag, and we were getting towed behind on a, there, on a yeah. boogie board. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Sandboarding. That sounds legit, okay? <laughs> Sandboarding is a legit thing, I just... It sounds decent. Um, and we were at the shops, and there's... <clears throat> oh, this is so annoying. There's this joke between me and my friend. Um, and we always, like, say, Oh, this is so mean. We always say how much we hate this person. I don't hate you, Archer. The only reason that this is a joke is because of how much the boys love you. So we're like the opposing team and because the boys love you that much and are constantly like frothing over you, like everything is about you all of the time. If this is news to you, then that's very interesting to me. But the boys can never say no to you. Everything's just, Archer says this, okay, that's what's happening. So the boys are obsessed with you. So we made the joke like, oh no, we hate Archer because the boys love Archer, we hate Archer. We're the opposing team. It's a joke. It's not real. And um, he was kind of maybe sort of behind me as I was talking about that said joke out loud and probably heard me. I'm not certain. I can't say for sure that he heard me. But every single time I think about that, I literally want to die because I feel like the most awful person in the world because it was a joke and it was not serious. And I feel like he heard me say that I hate him, even though I don't. <laughs> So that is definitely my most embarrassing moment in public just because literally every single time I think of that I want to die because I feel so upset because I would never want him to actually think that that's real because it's not Archer, okay? We love you, but you are a little bit of a pain in the ass because of how much the boys love you. Why do you do that? Why are you so obsessed with Archer? All you boys, all of you about? boys. You're all so obsessed with Archie, you can't say no to him. And it makes it so frustrating for the girlfriends. Because it's like, oh, we're going to do something, like, so excited, we're going to do this. Oh, Archie's doing this. You're doing that now. Cool. Get left in the dust. Very annoying. Start learning how to say no well, to Archer. Please. I don't know what my most embarrassing thing would be. I don't know, it's the same as, like, that drunk question. Probably most of the embarrassing stuff I've done, I've, it's when I'm drunk. drunk. I don't know, I've, I've probably done heaps of embarrassing stuff that I can't think of right now. Or I just, yeah, I don't know. There'd be so many things. So are you going to drink? You've already been drinking this whole time, you need yeah, to no. stop drinking. Give me this. Hey, yeah, yeah, no. you drink for my question, and then I get it. What's your worst habit, probably drinking? Hmm. Because when you start, you can't stop, huh? i going to leave that over there. Don't reach for it. Um, who is your favourite, mum or dad? Mine's hard because I have two dads. So it's not choosing between mum or dad. It's choosing between mum, dad or dad. Oh, I feel like this is going to offend people. But mum. Just because I'm closest to mum. Um... But that's not to say that I don't love my two dads. I do, very much so. But it's just a lot easier to say mum because I grew up attached to her hip. So that's kind of still where I'm at. Still attached to her hip most of the time. So, except for when she's when you're not me angry off. at her. Yeah, except for when she's pissing me off. When I'm angry at you, mum. Mm -mm. But most of the time, I'm attached to your hip. So. Well, I can't be. Really? I 
feel like it's easier to say one parent and then be like, I still love the other one. <laughs> I can't pick. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just can't pick because I do stuff with my dad more often and we've got more similar interests like cars and snowboarding and bikes and stuff like that. But I don't know, I can't pick because like, I guess not so much with mum but like gardening. And the fruit trees and stuff I've been buying and she is like more like hands-on like building stuff and fixing stuff I guess which I kind of am like as well um and I don't know it's, it's just you admire it's just something it's something you, you, something you can't pick well <laughs> I guess it's different because I know because I've grown up with the two of them for my whole entire life yeah whereas you have like switched between mm -hmm. all three at certain points. So. Yeah. What well, are, are you drinking? Didn't I already drink before? I don't know. No, because I didn't. Because I gave you that. I don't know. Are you... I'll obviously know when I look back at the footage, but I don't know currently. Um, what is the most illegal thing you've ever done? <sighs> didn't we already answer that? No. You said... That you regret. You regret. What is the most illegal thing you've ever done? And it's not weed. Uh, probably speeding, going like double the limit and stuff. Double the limit? <laughs> uh, multiple different times, when? circumstances. Like on the motorbike and in cars as well, like I don't know. When are you doing this? <laughs> when is this happening? What do you mean? Like I've tried to get top speeds on my bike before, it's the whole point of having a bike. You can all be serious right now. You're smiling, I hope you're joking. <laughs> that is not the whole point of you having your it's bike. Not the it whole, it's not the whole point cheaper. of having a bike. It's not the whole point of having a bike, but it's just something that when you have a bike, you try and get a top speed. Take Felton! My bike's only a slow bike anyway, so it wasn't, oh, it wasn't, mm -hmm, it wasn't that quick mm -hmm. anyway. And I didn't get the top speed because the road ran out and I had to turn, so I didn't want to crash. So I slowed You down. little shit. Um, but then in <coughs> cars as well, like, <coughs> yeah, going a lot quicker than I should. I more or less, I don't really do it anymore now. Now, if anything, I'm probably under the speed limit. So. Unbelievable. So do you see how my anxiety and like, being scared that Tate's not being safe is now suddenly not irrational. Yeah. Um, what's the most little thing I've ever done? Not changed her address once you moved out. <laughs> Probably. Probably, yeah. Not changing my address straight away when I move. Which you're obviously supposed to do, but I end up forgetting about it and I just can't live with it. Like, doesn't phase me. I don't go out anywhere and share my address anyway, so I just never change it. But I should. It's changed now. Don't worry. It's all good now. But yeah, I left it for like literally over a year. So. Has your boyfriend ever embarrassed you? Yes. Yes. Yes, you have. I could not be while true. drinking. And not while drinking. Do you see the thing? It would probably be and not while drinking as well. I'm embarrassed. Probably, you. but I can't think of a specific moment where he's drinking. Yeah, I can. But I'm not going to name them because you're getting embarrassed. Oh, my poor puppy. I'm already embarrassed. You keep saying that I'm not going to. Well. Oh, I didn't get to answer that question. Has your boyfriend ever embarrassed you? Yeah, Have I would you just got a boyfriend? swap it out for girlfriend. Okay, sit up then. All the time. <laughs> um, Currently. Yes. Very often. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when? Uh, this is a, a good example though. When you're filming videos and stuff, I get pretty embarrassed and whatnot. Have you ever been caught doing something you shouldn't? Caught. Probably. Yeah. What? <laughs> I would have told you this before, surely. I don't know, you haven't told me. In, um high school, I don't know, what was it, like year 9 or year 10 or something, 
um, I already don't like where this is going. For whatever reason, we found like a book that didn't have anything written in it, so we just started writing out like um, really grotesque, immature stuff and like drawing pictures of like dicks and blah 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 and like handing it to the next person, then they would continue on with the story and then the next person. And like was this in English? Yeah. I think it was either year eight. I think it was year eight. Or year nine. But um, yeah, it was pretty much the book. You just write down the most grotesque, inappropriate thing that you possibly can and then hand it off to the next person and it goes around the table. And then eventually the teacher came over and like, for whatever reason, the, one of the kids on our table gave it to the teacher. I don't know why you'd give it to the teacher. I would have just been like, no, nah, you can't have it. Because gave it to the teacher and then everyone on the table got... Um, and after school detention and got in trouble and stuff because... What was the question again? Most of Thing that you got caught doing? Yeah, something that shouldn't be. Yeah, so the teacher found out and then read it and then obviously sent it to the head teacher and Why the principal it and say? everything. It had just heaps of like fucked up like sexual shit in it. Hey, Felton. <laughs> I was in like God, boys <laughs> suck so bad. Oh, I was in year eight, so that's an and, excuse. And My whole, age is an excuse no, and the to whole, be a the whole idiot. point of it was just to be like as crude and gross as possible. That's what made it funny. Ha <laughs> ha. So, yeah. Boys suck so bad. I need to answer the question now. I don't think so. I mean, probably. Like, most definitely, I'm sure my parents caught me doing something I shouldn't have been doing when I was little but like right like anything recent or like recent as recent enough for him like that was still years ago but anything that I can really remember being like old enough to know that I was doing something wrong and shouldn't have been doing it and then got caught nothing like interesting like I can give you stupid things that you wouldn't be interested to hear like when I would steal mum's drink she knows about now but I would steal mum's drinks all the time or whenever she'd go to the bathroom I would quickly take a sip of her drink that was like illegal when I was little it doesn't matter if Zach does it now like coke or... yeah that was thanks really appreciate it um that was like literally illegal when I was a kid but now that Zach's the age that I was do whatever you want doesn't matter doesn't phase her it's very frustrating because we got treated very differently but um yeah, nothing interesting. Sorry. No tea. Who is the worst kisser you've kissed? Considering we've only really kissed each other. It'd be her. Uh, gonna have geez. to be him. <laughs> Needs a bit of work. You need a bit of work. <laughs> Who is hottest? Hagrid, Dumbledore, or Dobby? Ooh. Who asked this? Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's certainly not Dobby. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dobby, but it's not Dobby. Hagrid, Hagrid or Dumbledore? Hagrid. Yeah, I'd definitely say Hagrid. Dumbledore, he's I mean... He's too old, I can't... He's a... Uh, I can't get behind but, that. Yeah, he's too old. He's a little bit old. Hag and Hagrid is... He's half giant, so I mean... <laughs> um, <laughs> okay then. And then the very last question is a repeated question. It just says, who is your first kiss? And it's this guy. So that's all we have for you. Stop laughing. You're going to be able to hear it in the background of the video. Mom. <laughs> so that's all we have for you today. Who won? I'm, I don't I think it was a competition. It is. I told you what the freaking aim of the game was. It was to be the most truthful. Whoever drunk the least amount of times wins. Because you're meant to be truthful. It's truth or drink. Well, I think if I you're drunk not truthful, you. you lose. I think I drunk more. I think you drunk more than me too. So you lose. You're a loser. Sit up. Yay. You're a loser. I'm a winner. I'm a winner because I have you. Transferred. Heck yeah. Ooh. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos with Tate, let me know. He will probably say no, but I will probably convince him anyways. Because that's what I do. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I won. He lost. But we love him anyways, it's okay. Some things just aren't meant to be shared on the internet. Am I boring you? Sorry, am I putting you to sleep? No. Hmm? I think I am. I think it's about time to close out the video then. 
Okay, well, subscribe, thumbs the video up, follow my Instagram, it'll be somewhere around here. Turn, no, <laughs> ring the bell. That's what YouTubers say. Ring the bell and you'll get notifications when I upload because I don't have a set schedule. So if you want to know when a new video is coming out, turn on the bell and you'll get a notification to say Talia Delaney has uploaded. We are putting this one to sleep so we best be going. Okay, goodbye. Are you going to say your famous word? Done then. Mm. Bye.